I think it was a great team win, you know. Uh, after the Mississippi State loss, we had to come back to practice, you know, and grind harder and harder. <laughs> we had to grind harder and harder. You know, coach was pretty pissed at us because we played poor. So we had to step it up this game. You guys uh, return all five starters, but I think the bench, especially offensively, you, you guys came up and provided a big spark, right? Oh, yeah, you know, everybody individually got better, whether it, whether it was on the offensive side or defensive side. Everybody, I felt like everybody got better and helped contribute to the team win. What's the biggest difference between the exhibition last year versus this year? Is it just experience? We chalk it up to that or um, just comment on that a little bit? Um, I think last year we went in the expedition thinking, you know, like there was a D2 school, so we kind of took them lightly. And this year, you know, you can't take nobody lightly. You got to play every game like it's your last, and that's what we did tonight. Seeing as though how well you finished last year with winning six men of the year in the conference, did you just take that confidence uh, and build on it to the start of this year? Is, is that kind of how you got off to a good start? Uh, yeah, you know, I had some stuff I needed to get better. So I just got better, you know. Hopefully if I win the award again, I do. If I don't, I don't. I just want to contribute to the team. What was one of those things that you tried to get better at and focus on throughout the offseason? Uh, mainly defense yeah. and, you know, getting close post touches so I could finish around the rim but mainly on the defensive side. Seems like you guys have a few six man of the year candidates. How big were, were Lewis and Dirk's playoff position as well? Uh, they were re very big. I felt like, you know, they brought the energy off the bench the best in my eyes. And I felt like those two helped us a lot in the win. Speaking of energy, do you guys, the guys that do come off the bench, is that something you guys focus on in case there is a lull at the beginning, you guys can bring that, that spark? Because that's what uh, seemed to happen tonight. Uh, yeah. You guys kind of brought it off the bench. Uh, yeah, you know, whoever come off the bench, you know, coach always said, you know, you got to bring the energy, pick the energy back up, you know, if the starters, you know, fall off in the energy, you know, we come in and pick the energy back up. Chris, where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, Lewis finished with a double-double with uh, 16 and 11 in 21 minutes. And he was probably 8 from 8 from the field. So we'll take questions for Lewis. You guys are welcome to sit down if you want. Big opportunity for you, for you tonight. How, how, how did you feel like you took advantage of it? Uh, I took advantage of it pretty well. In practice, Coach always tell me to bring the energy on the Energizer Bunny. So it, once, the more time I bring energy to the team, more the energy and practice keep going and going. So I just think me and Dirk been a big spark from the game. So coming off the bench and Chris Coker. I guess everybody wants to start, but you, know, you guys got pretty big roles. So it seems like everybody's pretty unselfish to Yeah, you. everybody's playing their role and everybody contributes to the team. So everybody does that, we were going to be really, really good. Physically, you look like a completely different player. Um, how is that helping you on the court? Well, Corey always takes me and say, we got to get in the weight room, get strong, get bigger. But my mentality is just every four man we have, I'm just quicker than, so I just use my quickness to my advantage. And I always have to crash the offensive boards. What were some of the keys to the victory tonight? Uh, playing as a team, but we also have to get better at defense. We kind of had a couple of blow bys, bigs had to help. So we just had to get better. We're still going to get better as a team as we go along. What was one thing you wanted to focus on from last year and, and build on coming into this year? Team chemistry. I think we had it like towards the end, then at the beginning, so beginning now. So it's just more team chemistry. And Coach Ben knows about that all the time. So no one man is bigger than the team. It's just teamwork, no individuals. As a player, what did you think about the, uh, the student turnout tonight? It looked like it was much better than it was last year. Uh, how much does that help you guys on the court? It, it motivates us a lot. Really, the motivation is a lot. So we just once the students get into it, we get into the game. Even though we still have energy from the jump off the bench, so once the students get into it, I just think we have the other team rattled from the jump. Any more questions for Lewis? All right, that's good. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Lewis. All right, guys. We'll have Coach Ash come to the podium. Just a couple of key notes. We're good. Sixty-eight points off the bench. Uh, shot. 57% from the field, 42% three-point line. So, Coach, want to give us an opening statement, and we'll take questions. You guys are a little intimidating. You're like a, yeah. you're like coming after all of us up here. Um, yeah, my opening statements. The first thing is the student section was phenomenal. Um, we need to do everything we can to encourage them to come back and uh, 
they can always give us a big lift. But that was a fantastic start to the game to have them uh, in their st in their seats early and encouraging us. We certainly had a lot of guys that uh, contributed tonight in a lot of different ways, which is good. And I think that's something that'll be consistent throughout the year. That we may not have just the same guys. Uh, they're leading scorers or leading minute guys. And I think one thing that I need to try and portray to everyone that we do have five starters in every game, uh, but we certainly aren't a team with <laughs> a clear five guys that are the go-to guys. We have a, a bench that is very, very good uh, as a coaching staff and as a team. We certainly don't look at it as a distinction between starters and bench players and things like that. And it's, uh, I think that's a very, very great, it's a great asset for us moving forward. So I think that part's great. Uh, the only other thing I would say is that I'll uh, clarify Chris's comments. Um, he said I was very angry with them, and it wasn't. I was disappointed in their practice habits and uh, wanted to correct those things. And I think we've made some of those adjustments and will continue to do so. Talking about Lewis has a pretty big opportunity, and obviously it seemed like he took advantage of it. Is it did he play like he's been practicing for you guys? Yeah, I would say the first, I would say the last eight to ten days of practice, he's really done a nice job. He's been much more aggressive on the offensive end. He's uh, probably our best uh, communicator on the defensive end. He's done a great job talking on the ball screens. And so he carried that over tonight. And uh, I thought that was the kind of game that he can be very, very effective. And now, having said that, I think there's a lot of games he can. But this was a game that I think he took advantage of uh, the things he does well. And it showed. With it being an exhibition, I know you want to get a lot of guys to work. Uh, you seem to sub guys three to four at a time. Is that something you guys are wanting to do? Or is it just how it played out tonight? I'd say it's more how it played out tonight. I think uh, there will be games that you will see that you know three and four at a time or five at a time. Uh, but for the most part, it'll probably be more one and two at a time. But uh, my guess is I haven't looked at the minutes. They're fairly evenly spread. And I think there will certainly be um, more variances in, with that as time goes on, how guys are playing that certain game because of foul trouble and some variety of things. But tonight, it was a good situation where I wasn't overly concerned. If somebody picked up two fouls or three fouls, we continued to play them. What was, what was it that got you guys that big spark? It was 10 to 10, and then next thing you know, you look up, your bench guys have scored 18 points, and it's 28 to 12 or something. Yeah, I think our, our bench guys came in, and I think the, the first thing was the energy level. And uh, you know the, the starters were in there. They're trying to kind of feel their way through things, and you know kind of see what the game was like, what the other team was like. And uh, the bench guys came in and just played a little bit more of a reckless abandon. And I think that's the way we have to play. We can't play on our heels. We have to be the aggressors. And I think they did that in a variety of ways. Uh, one was getting the ball to the rim, either offensive rebounds or, or driving the ball to the basket. And then defensively, it's I mean it really does start with just the overall energy level. What was the biggest difference in this time last year in this game compared to this year? as simple as experience for one of these guys? I think experience is part of it. Uh, um, I think the team tonight is a, certainly a good team. But I mean, Pembroke was last year was a top 25 uh, team in Division II and um, was, a, was a big time big time team and a big time challenge as well. But I think the we are a year older, a year more experienced, a uh, li little bit more seasoned. Um, so I think all of those things help. And I think our mindset was good going in as well. Uh, can you talk about Dirk's performance tonight and what he can do to help you guys going forward? Well, as you see, I mean, he, he's a big-time shooter and a big-time scorer, and, and that's always a positive with somebody coming off the bench. His length and athleticism can be a great asset in so many ways. I mean, offensive rebounding, um, defensively, getting deflections, getting steals. And so I think he can, can help in a lot of ways. Um, like all of our guys, there's room for improvement in certain areas. Um, but he's somebody that I think can be a great asset for us. Is playing good defense leading to good offense, like getting out in transition off of a good defensive possession, is that something you guys focus on, work on, in, in the best way for your offense to succeed? It is. I mean, it, live ball turnovers, uh, if we can get those, are, are huge. And because not only are you gaining possession of the basketball, but a lot of times it gives you opportunities in transition to score against defenses that aren't set. So we do want to capitalize on that any chance we get. Uh, we are focusing this year a lot on deflections. And so trying to get our defense to create deflections, and anytime we get a deflection, gives us a chance to get that basketball and score in transition. So that has been an emphasis. Um, we want games to be high scoring uh, with a lot of uh, possessions. And uh, to do that, the defense does need to be active and, and get those deflections and steals. You talked about the uh, offensive rebounding in the, in the media day and how that was going to be a focus for you guys. What did you think of that tonight? I thought it was good. Um, I think there's certainly room for improvement, but I thought the guys were 
for the most part, pretty intent of getting to the offensive boards. Um, we shot a decent percentage, so the good news with that is there you know, aren't as many offensive rebounds. But um, I thought the guys, again, for the most part, we had at least three guys on the offensive boards that were supposed to be there. Uh, sometimes we had some guys forget, but it's a habit that we're continuing trying to stress. More questions, Coach? All right. Thank you, guys.